Guys, what's going on? Welcome to Serial at Midnight. My name is Heath, and we are outside of Target. It's time for a Target toy run. It's been a long time since I've done an on-camera toy run, and I've gotten specific requests from you guys. What's going on with Mego? What's going on with some of the other things at Target? So let's go inside, check out the toy situation at Target, and maybe even stop and look at some movies before we head out. Let's see what we can find. Check this out. They got Steamboat Willie. A plush steamboat willy with steering wheel. Oh, the steering wheel is detached. It looks like it was it was stuck to him at some point. $9.99. Yeah, but it's broken. Here's a clearance aisle. It's an end cap. We've got a bunch of Jurassic Park, Jurassic World toys on clearance for looks like $3.98. And some Avengers and DuckTales. Have you guys seen the new DuckTales show? I haven't watched it. I was wondering what you thought about it. I'm a big fan of the old school DuckTales show, but I haven't seen the new one. And then this. This is amazing. Spider Ham, Spider Ham. He pushes ears and his eyes change. This might be coming home with me. We got a lot of open gaps here. This is the Star Wars collection. Now there's a Star Wars movie coming. Why are there not more Star Wars toys on the shelf? This is Hasbro, right? This has to be Hasbro's fault. Just bad stock. We got Jenner, so. <sighs> Supreme Leader Snoke. He's already, he's been opened. <sighs> it's not a good time to be a Star Wars collector. Um, you guys know after I saw Bumblebee, I got really into the Bumblebee, the, the Transformers toys again, but look i mean it's just a lot of empty pegs there's a few things here um i like these cyberverse figures have you guys seen transformers cyberverse it's a youtube series or it's showing on youtube um i actually like it it's pretty cool it's a good jumping on point for transformers but as far as transformers toys there's not a lot here still a lot of empty pegs this is what it looked like at christmas time and this is still what it looks like now i did just see these on the bottom shelf they check out this megatron from cyberverse and a Target exclusive Soundwave and Doom box. That's amazing. They've got three of them, but $50 seems insanely high of an asking price for this. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Check these out. They've got these Hero World DC figures, Hawk Girl, Hawk Man, um, Scooby Doo figures. I don't remember either one of these, Snow Ghost and Ghost Clown. What was Ghost Clown from? I don't remember that. But then they've got the Wreck-It Ralph figures on clearance as well. $4.98, which is half off of the uh, the retail price. They've also got the big, bigger Wreck-It Ralph figures. Um, and I'm tempted, I'm really tempted to pick this guy up. He's 15, he was 30, and he talks. I posted about this on Instagram. This is so cool to me. They've got the DC Primal Age figures. They only have, I've only ever seen Batman here, but this is essentially like the Castle Grey Skull for this line. It looks very cool. Um, I, I like the idea of all of these, like a Primal Age version of these characters, an Elseworlds kind of version of these characters. Um, and I think this is $59.99, which is not bad for a playset. Got some WWE figures over here. And then you guys are always asking about Mego. This is the current Mego situation, which is the same Mego situation that it's been for four months now. Um, just the same, the same old, same old. The, the peg warmers, none of the horror figures. I've never seen, uh, oh, well, there's the Dracula, but I've never seen Frankenstein in a store. Um, certainly never seen the Wolfman. It's just the same facts of life, the TV characters. That's all that. That's all that's here, and they have the Wizard of Oz and the I Dream of Genie two packs. And then here's the uh, the Marvel Legends, which I used to love. These check out check out Malekith. This is a killer Malekith figure. Um, you know, from Thor: The Dark World too, but uh, really from Walt Simonson's run on Thor. Um, and they they've also got a Black Knight, which looks fantastic. Grey Gargoyle. I'm very tempted by these, but I just I can't get back into the $20 figure collecting game. Got the Avengers Infinity War Thor. Ant-Man. I think there's a Wasp around here somewhere. Yeah, here's Wasp. Good figures, man. You got a changeable heads. This is the way you do it. Captain Marvel. Oh, look, it's young Nick Fury, and he comes with... Well, the cat. Here's the new Avengers toys, and I don't know that they're really tipping much. 
um, as far as giving away any spoilers, Thanos has, <laughs> he's got a smile on his face. This is kind of like a, a, a heavily medicated Thanos. He's on his antidepressants. And then they've got Hulk. And they've got, who is, oh, Ronin. I didn't know Ronin was gonna be in the new movie. Sweet. Iron Man. Uh, War Machine. Captain Marvel. You know, that's actually a really good Captain Marvel figure. I like that a lot. And then let's see what Cap looks like. Yeah. You guys, if these DuckTale toys had existed in the 80s when I was watching the show, oh, I can't even imagine. I would have been in heaven. Check out, they got the Sun Chaser. It's amazing. I don't see any Scrooge McDucks over here. Even though I haven't seen this show, I'm tempted just because it's DuckTales and because these are such a good price. $4.48, that's not bad, right? I said if they had Scrooge McDuck, I'd be tempted. They have one Scrooge McDuff, McDuck left on the clearance end cap here. And he comes with the Golden Idol. Oh, you guys, do I start collecting DuckTales figures? I don't know. Uh, I don't buy a lot of this stuff, but I like to come over here and see what's going on. Um, I know they had a lot of Cuphead merchandise here the last time I was looking. Uh, this is where they keep all the fun co pops and everything like that. I do want to point out this. This is uh, the Stranger Things Demi Gorgon. It was $40 and it's now $11.98. And my daughter is a huge Stranger Things fan and collectible. She collects all the fun co's. Um, I might have to grab this for her or at least let her know about it and see if she's interested. And I don't, they don't have Dustin or Lucas here, so I don't know what the situation is. I don't know if they overestimated the demand on the Demigorgon or what, but um, well, there's some more down there. Let's make sure that Dustin and Lucas aren't behind it. No, it's just just this one. Oh, check this out, you guys. T2 endoskeleton, or I guess it's just the Terminator endoskeleton. No fate. Vince Gilligan? Holy crap. Creator, director of Breaking Bad. My, one of my favorite X-Files writers. Vanessa Kensington, okay. I didn't know they were doing Austin Powers Funkos. I might have to get those. Oh, this is amazing, you guys. I need these. I just noticed these Star Wars, uh, the Star Wars backpack, which is pretty sweet, and the Star Wars lunchbox, which I think is not pretty sweet. Like, these look like romance novel covers or something. And then, like, look at Han. He's like, hey. Does this look, <laughs> looks like romance fiction or something. What's on this side? Well, that looks cool. Is the back any different? Well, I like that. That looks good. I just saw this little Easter end cap here and they've got some, I don't know, it seems like good deals. Fantastic Beast, The Crimes of Grindelwald. I'm not interested in that movie because I didn't like the first one, but they've got Venom for $15. Is Venom worth $15, you guys? Or should I wait until Black Friday and grab it for like $6.99? <laughs> um, Ready Player One. Ooh, Creed 2 for $15. That's a good deal, too. I also wanted to point out this display because at the bottom of it here, they've got both of the seasons of Stranger Things, these Target exclusive DVD Blu-ray combo packs, and uh, $20 for the first season, $25 for the second season, but they're both marked down to $10, or they're on sale for $10, and um, they do these sales through the app where you can get them for an additional 50% off, so I got mine for $5, I know a lot of you guys have got yours for $5 as well, so just shouting it out in case you didn't know. Check this out guys, they've repackaged these Doctor Who sets. So this is the complete Christopher Eccleston and David Tennant years. Uh, what's that, about five seasons worth? Four seasons in a special, something like that. I like this packaging. Um, these never got put on Blu-ray. And uh, the first season got a Blu-ray release, but none of the, like the David Tennant years never did. Matt Smith obviously did, but this is a repackage of his as well. Both come with comics, probably some special features too. So this is 12 DVDs and this is 10. It's actually a really good value. And then just down the, down the aisle here, you guys, Tom Baker, Shada. Now this does have a Blu-ray release, at least in the uh, in the UK. Um, I'm probably, I was going to import it, but now that they're doing complete season releases on Blu-ray, I'll probably just wait. I don't know, this is very tempting. They've had to animate some of the episodes because the uh, the footage, like, there's a whole story behind Shada, but this, this is like the most complete version that's ever been released. They've finished it with animation, and that's actually really cool. I also want to call attention to this. This is a direct-to-DVD DVD movie that, that 
basically concludes the thir Scooby Doo and the Thirteen Ghosts uh, TV series. Um, they're they're wrapping up. That series had Vincent Price in it, and uh, they have finally finished. I think they only got to twelve of the Thirteen Ghosts. The idea was like they'd let Thirteen Ghosts out, and they had to chase them all down. And I think the TV series only covered twelve of the ghosts, but that's the thirteenth one. And they finally finished it. Like what, like thirty five years later, or something like that. This is something a lot of you guys have talked to me about, one of my, my feedback on, because you guys know I like the Mill Creek Retro VHS slip cases. So these are basically just clamshell packaging like you would have a VHS in, but inside it's just a, like a Blu-ray, sometimes a DVD too, I guess. No, they're all just Blu-rays and then a digital code. So it's the appearance of a VHS tape, but with uh, the option of a digital as well. But for me, it's just a whole lot of wasted space because this, I mean, they look cool, but when you add them all up, you're killing your space. And there's a few that they don't even have here, so we'll just do what we can here. But that's that's a huge section of space for, what is that, five movies? Um, but I know some of you guys like them, so I'm not bad-mouthing them. I just, uh, I've never, this is the first time I've actually seen these in a store. Um, and I don't know. I don't know what I think about them. I, I mean, I like the idea of, uh, of the VHS packaging, but it just seems like form over function to me. But what do you think? All right, we are back in the car. We have made, we have completed the Target toy run. I did not get a lot. I did not end up getting the Scrooge McDuck DuckTales figure because first, my loyalties, is I haven't seen that show. I, I feel weird about supporting that version of the show, which I've never seen. I'm all for David Tennant one of my favorite doctors uh but i just i i feels weird to buy a toy for a show i haven't seen also the the paint application on that figure the one that was left had he had like black black spots on his beak from a bad paint application and that's not how it's supposed to be so uh i ended up just passing if it's meant to be if they go down even further if it's like two bucks or something like that i'll pick it up but i do have uh, i have a Scrooge mcduck funko figure they did like a disney afternoon collection with uh darkwing duck chippendale uh, from the Rescue Rangers, and uh, I think even a Baloo from Tailspin. I, I have that Scrooge McDuck, so I do have Scrooge McDuck in toy form. Uh, but outside of that, the, the only toy that I got is I, I got I got Spider-Ham. I can't have there be a Spider-Ham. You guys, I read Spider-Ham in comic book form when I was a kid. Uh, so I can't, I can't have there be a Spider-Ham toy and not have it. I think he's going to become a part of the uh, Serial and Midnight Studio set. I grabbed Fast Times at Ridgemont High on Blu-ray. This was $5. I walked by it. It was like $5. I don't own this movie. I don't think I've ever owned this movie. I, I like this movie. I don't know that... It's been a long time since I've seen it, so I don't have the relationship with it that some people do have. I love Cameron Crowe, or I did. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen a Cameron Crowe movie that really excited me, but um, this is a classic, and I think this was the time. $5, that's the right price for me. Plus, it's got that Phoebe Kate scene, right? That's one of the most famous scenes in all of cinema. So uh, it's finally time that Fast Times at Ridgemont High comes to live in the serial at Midnight uh, studio. So other than that, the, I, I, you guys, I grabbed some mayonnaise if you're interested, and I, I grabbed some tuna. If you want to come over, we're having tuna fish sandwiches for lunch, so just, just let me know and I'll make you one. Uh, guys, thanks for coming along on the Target toy run and movie run. What's going on with uh, the, toy, the, the toy situation in your neck of the woods? Are you seeing any of the Mego that so many of us are looking for? I kind of feel like Mego's just done. I haven't talked about it much on the channel since the Joe Parrington interview. I think Mego's done. I know they have some plans. I know they've released some figures direct on the internet, but it seems like it's over. Uh, they're not going to show up in a Walmart as far as I know. GameStop was a viable option, but now GameStop's in serious trouble. I don't know the GameStop's going to be around in a couple of years. So the Mego situation is looking grim. Uh, I, I don't actually know anybody who's finding the ones they're looking for. But if you are, let me know so that I can spread the word that, hey, some people are finding the things that they want. The monster figures, the Bruce Lee, the, you know, the, uh, those cool new pop culture figures that they've put out, the Farrah Fawcett. But guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for hanging out in Target. Just a quick Target run for the stuff that Serial at Midnight loves. Uh, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you guys so very much. And until next time, I will catch you later.